Hey guys, uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on how things are progressing. Um, I captured lots of voltage values from the gas pedal running in stock mode. Um, voltages and resistances and all kinds of things like that. And uh, we, nobody knows still why, for some reason, the voltage output is dropped so much. Um, on a, I don't know if it's common to all GM cars. It doesn't sound like anybody's attempted to create a pedal for a GM car before. So we're blazing trails again. Anyway, um, the uh, my plan, which some people have said they don't like, but I'm a developer and I think in terms of solving this problem with code rather than changing resistor values because I don't know too much about that. So what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is uh, monitor the voltages coming from channel 1 and channel 2, uh, determine what that value corresponds to from the uh, analog to digital converter, which I can get from the debug output from the pedal itself, um, with the pedal unpressed and the pedal fully pressed, um, I gotta figure out what kind of a scaling we're dealing with. Is it just shifted down, or is it shifted down and shrunk a little? I don't know. Gonna have to do some math to find out. But once I figure that out, it seems to me that I should just be able to have the firmware in the pedal boost the output to match what the output should be. And then the car should be happy, and the gas pedal will work like it should again. Um, I'm gonna have to, you know, try that later. So, that's where we stand with the pedal. I'm feeling a little more, a little bit more confident about the possibility of it working. Um, I was starting to think maybe it was a, a, a dead end, but I'm feeling a little better about it. Um, let's see. Next thing is, if you are interested in getting in on this and you have not already, if you have a Chevy Bolt or you have any other, uh, most any other GM vehicle made in the last few years that has lane keep assist but does not have automatic cruise control. That's very important. It has to have lane keep assist but no automatic cruise control. Then there's a good chance that we can get at least steering working very quickly for you if you buy all of this stuff. I don't know how well you can see it. If you pick up the uh, original Eon, the Eon Gold, I think they're still for sale on Kama's website, and a Gray Panda, also not sure, but I think those are for sale. Can't use a White Panda, they're, they're deprecating the White Panda. Um, and then you have to buy my Giraffe, which is about $50 um, if you are a Patreon patron, um, it's going to cost less than that, depending upon your subscription level. Um, so, if you're interested and you want to get started, keeping in mind that this system is very not production ready, that there's going to be bugs, those bugs can be dangerous, and you're essentially a beta tester when you're doing this, things may go wrong. Your car might catch on fire. Anything is possible that could possibly go wrong. But if you're willing to take the risk and you're ready and you're interested, head on to the, uh, the Kamada AI Discord uh, server, which is discord.kama.ai, and look for Jay Schuler in the GM channel. Or you can just direct message me, and uh, we can get 
started on getting you your car driving itself. Um, as always, uh, all of this is made possible by my Patreon patrons. I can't thank you enough for your support. Uh, if you would like to support uh, and you are not currently supporting, you can head to patreon.com slash bolt open pilot. Um, give whatever you can, whatever you feel like. Uh, however important you feel this project is to the future of society. Um, as far as I know, this project is the only one that's working on the GM cars that don't have radar. So we're we're kind of blazing trails all over the place. So again, I appreciate your help. Um, I appreciate you watching and have a great day.